Good evening, everybody. I hope you had a wonderful holiday. And let me get rid of this little guy out of the way here. And I am so bad because I forgot to do this. This is week two for you all. And that's going to go in this one. <clears throat> and this one okay so here we are about to start week two well we have started week two what am I talking about and let's look at our coursework for week two I bet you're so relieved to have that paper out of the way I think that's just not a nice thing to do to make you have that paper do that very first week all right, so let's look at the module for week two. And we have our daily, our devotion, uh, and then we have our overview of the week. And this one is going to be uh, focused on uh, eating disorders, substance abuse, mental health issues in children. And be mindful that the earlier these, these conditions are identified and treatment is initiated, the better the outcome will be. Both physical and mental health affect how we think feel and act on the inside and the outside and once any behavioral or mental health issue develops it quickly can become a regular part of a child's behavior and their everyday world rendering it much more difficult to address and treat so sometimes uh, guardians uh, may uh, overlook particular behaviors hoping that it will go away when actually each day that that behavior is allowed to continue, it ingrains it more deeply into the um, child. Okay, so everyday stresses and even subtle, subtle changes to the child's everyday environment can cause changes in a child's behavior. So like moving, a new brother, sister, going to new school can cause a child to temporarily act out. And warning signs of more serious problems include problems in more than one setting, so at school, at home, and with peers, changes in appetite, sleep, or daily routines, social withdrawal or fear of things previously not afraid of, regression, um, and uh, signs of being upset like sadness, tearfulness, crying, signs of self-destructive behavior like head banging, um, getting hurt often, self-mutilation like cutting, uh, repeated thoughts of suicide or death. And to diagnose mental health problems, providers must talk to both the child and the parents to examine a myriad of behaviors and symptoms, medical history, and the developmental and family history. So the objectives of this week include five objectives, and perform a comprehensive uh, health status developmental and risk assessment of children using, di using diagnostic measures, including laboratory, radiographic, and other technologies formulate differential diagnoses, develop therapeutic plans, integrate legal, ethical, and socioeconomic um, and cultural factors into the delivery of care, evaluate the adequacy of health policies, health resources, community resources, and so forth. Our readings in Hay, uh, chapters 5, 6, and 7, and Substance Abuse Treatment for Children and Adolescents, uh, Questions to Ask, I think that this is a really good resource. Anything from the American Academy of Pediatrics is a really good resource to use. Preventing drug use among children and adolescents. This is a government provided um, database that gives you some excellent resources. Uh, child, child mental health from the National Institute of Health and Children's Mental Health by the um, APA or .org. Uh, assignments. The only assignment we have this week is a case study discussion. So let's go to the case study discussion. And you'll see that I had placed you all in groups. And the groups switch every time we have a case study discussion because I think it's very important to interact with other members. I know that it might not be comfortable because the comfortable thing is to be with the same people all the time because you know what to expect. However, um, I like to um, mix things up a little bit so that you can work with different people and, 
and learn how to interact differently and not be so comfortable. So here's our case study. Now I know the initial post was due today because I uh, was not uh, good at getting my announcement out as I normally like to on Sunday or Monday. I'm going to give you until Friday. Okay. So you'll have until Friday to get it in there if you haven't gotten it done yet. Kyle is a 13 year old boy coming to his pediatrician's office for a same day appointment. He arrives with his mother who's quite tearful. She tells you that Kyle is having a hard time at school. He's a freshman in high school. He doesn't have any chronic medical history. He has a younger brother and sister. During this past summer vacation, he didn't spend much time with his friends and preferred to sit in his room and play video games. Since the school year started, he appears to be more withdrawn and his grades are poor. He's coming home with mostly D's and he was an A-B student in middle school. After some further questioning with mom in the room, she states that she and her husband got divorced over the summer and the family is ad adjusting to the change. The kids spend most of the time with mom and every other weekend with dad. So here we go. In your assigned groups, please answer the following questions using APA format. Now, let's talk about APA format. When we're doing discussion groups, I really am not going to be a stickler for APA. What I am a stickler of is this cannot be your opinion. This needs to be researched. So your answers need to have citations and references. I think that's fair. So individually, you will respond to two posts. Now in assigned groups, answer the following questions by day three of the course. Now that's uh, as your group. So in the group that you're in, everyone has an assigned leader and that leader is going to change also. I want you to do whatever you gotta do to get this done. Now I know some of you have submitted it already and that's a wonderful thing. If you've submitted it already, um, we'll work out however you've done it, but um, sometimes people uh, will put it all on one document and submit it as one document. Uh, some people do it individually. I prefer to be in one document. I think it's easier for the other classmates to see, and then you'll post it to the case study discussion board. All right. Now. Individually, you will respond to two posts by day seven, and your weekly grade will be a combination of both your group and individual efforts. So, you're doing the case study here as a group effort, and as I said, you can break that up however you want to do it. If you want to split the questions up or you want to group, um, do it together, uh, that's fine with me. I don't care how you do it as long as everybody is contributing. And I will expect the leader of the discussion to advise me if members of the group are not pulling their weight, okay? Um, so then each student needs to post two response posts by day seven. So make sure that you do those. And what do I mean by response posts? Response posts are not going to be good case study or good work. I expect a substantive post with at least a couple of references. So uh, I, I really think that you need to push the envelope when you're doing these response posts. Um, on these weeks that you have the case study discussion, this is all you have to do this week. Besides your clinicals, I know you're doing a lot. But um, I expect graduate level work. And so I expect good sentence structure. I expect, I expect um, that you will use proper punctuation and you'll be, um, your grade will suffer for it if you don't do use, use that, okay? Now, if you have any questions, please get in touch with me via email or text try email two times first before you contact me. And I think I might um, start putting out emails when I'm in clinic because my clinic, this is busy time. You'll find once you start working in your clinic that you have seasonal trends and 
generally speaking, in the clinic that I work at, by about mm, mid-October to mid-February, we're incredibly busy. We have very little downtime. So if I find that I'm having difficulty responding to you in what I consider an appropriate time uh, span, I'll, I'll throw out a group email and let you all know that I'm in a busy clinic today. Because I know there's nothing worse than um, sending out an email to a professor and then waiting all day for an answer. I, I understand completely. I'm in, I'm in school myself. I'm getting my doctorate. And I know that we've got, we've got a lot of pressure. And I can't move forward unless I know the answer to that question. So I want to definitely um, work with you on that. Um, I had posted earlier um, that the exams are going to be based on both textbooks and there will be a study group session. I have not yet uh, put that uh, together. I haven't put the study guide together. I haven't done the uh, decided a date yet, but I will let you know as soon as I uh, am able, probably this weekend. So I'll let you know that information when I, when I know it. All right, so have a good week.